Okay. Um, in this video, we're looking at getting our system set up um, to work on computer science courses at ISU on a Chromebook. I'm running on a Chromebook here. This is a 2020-2019 Chromebook from Lenovo. Um, the first thing that we want to get working is a terminal. So the terminal is the minimum that we need. Um, to get started in the CS courses that will allow us to connect to the CS server and run commands there. Okay, so the easiest way to get started is to install an app, the Secure Shell. So if you go to the link, I already have it installed here, so you would click to have it install. Um, once it's installed, we can launch it from there, or we can launch it from over here. Secure Shell. And then we have information to put in here. So I can type everything, uh, all the information up here, or I can put, this is the username. So you use your username, cs.indstate.edu, and port 22 put that information in and then connect my password and now this is showing me um, information from the CS server I'm running commands on the CS server so these are the directories for this user on the server and I can type commands in here um, so you learn about commands in another part of the uh, CS wiki or in your course. Uh, I could use a text editor that's a text-based text editor. This is all text-based. Clicking in here doesn't do anything. Um, so you learn about how to use, uh, how do you, what, what commands you need to run um, in a separate part of the wiki. Uh, so this is option one to, to get started. This is easiest. You can see it's actually running inside the Chrome browser. And when I'm done, I will exit. Okay, so option two, which is not, doesn't work necessarily on every Chromebook, but I'll show the steps here. So if we click on the Chromebook here, so we just did the secure shell app. This section here talks about we can actually get Linux installed um, on here. This is actually Android, the Chromebook is running Linux, but you just don't have access to it. Um, but we can install Linux as an app. Um, and if we go, there's instructions here to tell you um, what to do. So we'll just click through. So this says to click on the settings which if you don't have it pinned like that, there's the settings. And if you're over here, so if you see a Linux beta, then it's possible to do this on your computer. And if you don't have that already turned on, then you would see something here uh, that says turn on. I already have mine turned on. So I have it, these are um, configuration options that I could do. One thing to note, um, when you click turn on and then whatever else you have to click, the instructions over here tell you if you have to click other things. Um, it may take a while. On my computer it took a couple hours and then it, it, didn't, it said that it was installed but it wasn't actually working. So I had to remove it and then try to turn it on again. Um, if you do that, then there is a program terminal. So terminal now, it looks very similar to what we had over here, but this is running on this computer. So I'm not on the CS server, I can do things here and I can actually install Linux programs. Um, over in the regular part of the Chromebook, this is really like Android, so you can install apps, but not the same kind of programs that you can install in Windows or Mac or Linux desktop. With this we can. Um, so I could install 
over here in the section about Linux, these are Linux programs that could be installed, um, and there's many others. Um, so if I just do sudo apt install kate, I think I already have that installed, so it didn't really do anything there. But now the kate program is installed, which is a graphical text editor. There are other ones. Um, and so anything you can install in Linux, you could potentially install here. They don't necessarily all work. Um, but to get started, really all we want to do is connect to the CS server. The command for that is the same as what we did over in the secure shell. And see, um, it's the same as what we had over there, but it's in a separate program. It's not running inside the web browser like the other one. Okay, so either way, or both, um, you've got your terminal and you can connect to the CS server.